Welcome everybody, Gazroth here, and today we are going to look at achievements. I have already created all the necessary objects and gizmos required to get our achievements working, and I will take you through it step by step. In our previous video, we created a leaderboard and a player persistent variable that is used by the leaderboard, and we're going to use that variable with our achievements. So in order to get our leaderboard update and score, all we have to do is pass our hand through the box and it will update. That works in our leaderboard script. Just to recap, our leaderboard script, it is setting our test variable by getting what it is already, adding one, and then setting it to that new number. And then we're setting our test leaderboard for the player to that new number. In order to get our achievements to work, we need to add some. In order to do that, let's bring up our Systems tab, and under Achievements, we can create two achievements. So when you click on the Create button, you get a bunch of options. You have a Script ID, which is the script ID that you will use in the script. We have a name, which I named it Simple Achievement. You can give it a description if you like. You can change the thumbnail which is this little metal icon right there and then you can give it a type for instance this one is simple in order to get a simple achievement to pop we have to use the set achievement completion script block in our script we're going to hit save and then we'll look at our tracked achievement same deal script id name description thumbnail however the type is tracked persistent and we have two new options. We can select what persistent variable to track. And we have our test variable, and we are going to set it to complete at 10. So what that means is it will automatically unlock our achievement when our persistent variable test var reaches 10. Save that. And a nice little feature is here. You can go and you can reset the achievements. And this is our achievement script. So what does this event do? Well, it says when event completes for player, it gives us the player and it gives us the achievement ID. So we could use a, the achievement ID and have different things happen for different achievements. We are gonna do, we're gonna play a sound on this SFX variable which I have created here. And that's gonna do that for every achievement that pops. Now we have a when checkpoints is received with points and player. So, so I'm creating this event, I'm naming it checkpoints, and I'm saying I need the points and I need the player. All right, so it says if points equals five, so if the points that it sends me equals five, it's going to set the simple achievement complete for the player. And I have our send event in our leaderboard script right here. So basically it says send checkpoints to a panel, which is a object variable that I have created with get user persistent variable test var value for player. So when our player enters a trigger in that white box down there, it's going to trigger all of this code here. And then once it sets it and then updates the leaderboard, then it's going to send this checkpoints event with this information. It's going to send it with this is the points that it, it's sending, and then that is the player. And then I have the leaderboard. If I move my box down here, our leaderboard script is attached to this trigger, and that achievement panel is a panel. And then, oh, snap that on there. We can close that. We can close that. And then we go down to our achievements panel, and I have achievements, the achievement script, this one. This script is attached to our achievements panel, and our SFX is this Victory Orchestra 1, which is right here. And so what's going to happen is when we pop one of these achievements, it's going to play this sound. And close that. And we have it currently set to pop the simple achievement at 5 and the tracked achievement at 10. So let's go into preview mode and see if this works. So we are currently at 1. We need to get to 5. So 2, 
three, four, five. And there are simple achievement pops and we hear the music and you notice that under our tracked achievement we have a green bar slowly filling. And now all we have to do is add five more. So we're gonna go six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We hear the music, our tracked achievement pops and we can look over at our achievement panel and we are now at 100%. And that's pretty much it for achievements. If you liked the video or if it helped out, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe because I'll be coming out with many more videos. And if you have any suggestions or topics that you want covered in future videos, please let me know in the comments section below. Have a good one.